What's going on? Thanks for checking in. Today I have a warm-up routine that all hitters should be following that's going to instantly increase their exit velocity. So make sure you stay tuned. Check this one out. Good morning. How you feel this morning? All right, keep this rolling. Keep this rolling. Oh, thanks, man. Okay. All right, so this is what we got. I'm going to have you hit a ball off a tee right now, cold, as hard as you can. Okay? Okay. Then what we're going we're gonna to get three swings, and then I'm going to take you through a warm-up routine. Okay? And then we're going to see what the exit velo is after you're warmed up. All right. All right, ready? Yeah. Let's do it. All righty, Dansby's cold, just got out of his car, probably just woke up. How long ago did you wake up? 35 minutes. 35 minutes ago, didn't do any sort of warm-up, right out of the car. We're going to have him take three swings off the tee. Show and go, see where he is. Ready? Yep. 74, swing harder. Oh, I had to give him one. I'll give him one. 84, pretty good. Pop a 90. 90. Just like that. All right, so one of my biggest pet peeves that I see, you know, in baseball is hitters simply not warming up. They're just jumping in the cage, showing, going. So I'm going to show you what that looks like today. Like, if you think about it, pitchers aren't going to just go out and start throwing live in game without a proper warm up routine. However, a lot of the time hitters really miss this and you're doing yourself an incredible disadvantage, not raising the core temperature of your body before you go out and swing as hard as you can. So today we're gonna go over the ramp principle. So the principle that I utilize with all my warmups is the ramp protocol. So what the ramp protocol stands for is you're gonna raise your metabolic indicators. So basically you're raising your tissue temperature. Then you're gonna activate that muscle. You're gonna mobilize the joints and then you are gonna potentiate your central nervous system. So what that looks like in terms of hitting before you, know, you go into a hitting session, pre-game, pre-BP, is the R, we're gonna hit our dynamic warm-up. The A, we're gonna use the hip bands to activate the muscle. M, for mobilize the joints, we're gonna do T-spine, L-spine, shoulder cars, hip cars, etc. Then to potentiate the nervous system, Every day before we do our hitting routine, we're gonna do different med ball drills. And today we're gonna go bottom up with that. So we're gonna segment the kinetic chain. Now when Dansby goes back on that tee today, you're gonna see this whole ramp principle in full effect. All right, very first thing, the R raising that tissue temperature. We're just gonna hit an everyday dynamic warm up. Next is the A, so we're gonna activate the muscle. 
How I like to do this is these hip bands. You can get these anywhere. We have the slingshots here by Mark Bell, but all it is is just a little hip circle band. Every company makes it. You could honestly go to Walmart or Target and get yourself one of these, throw it in your bat bag. So what we're gonna do is just a side shuffle. Dansby's gonna sink his hips back and lead with this front knee all the way down 15 yards, and then he's gonna come back with it. Still on A here, after that hip circle band, I like to do a pogo series. So Dan's just gonna roll double leg pogos down, then backwards, then he's gonna go single leg pogos down, and then back with the other leg, and then that's gonna finish off the A. All right, for the M, first thing we're gonna do to mobilize the joints is we're gonna do a T-spine exercise. So Dansby's gonna go ahead and lay down on the ground. Bottom leg's gotta be straight here. You're gonna pull that big toe to your shin. Now, slight bend in the knee that's up and over. And you're gonna do your best to try to keep this knee pinned on the ground. Come on, Dansby's a little stiff, but he's gonna try to do his best. Simply, you're gonna open up and try to get his hands to the turf or the ground back behind him. He's gonna work through this slowly, but dynamically, okay, opening up that thoracic spine, opening up the chest, etc. Next one is one of my favorites to open up the lumbar spine. I just call them Ichiro's, why? Simply, went to a game, saw Ichiro out in the outfield doing this, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna steal that uh, lumbar exercise. So go ahead and you're gonna start in a figure four. So one leg up and over. Okay, now you're gonna pull this big toe to your shin, dorsiflexion, you can slide it out a tick. This heel is always gonna be on the ground as you pivot, do windshield wipers back and forth. Hands on the ground, now you're just gonna pivot and do windshield wipers out of that figure four position. You're gonna go a set of 10 on each leg. Next, we're gonna mobilize the hip here. So my favorite way to do that is through cars or controlled articular rotations. So what we're gonna do is just your typical hip car. A lot of guys do this wrong. A lot of guys like to move the pelvis. Go to your end range here. Even if your end range is a little bit, right? You just wanna find that end range without in, in, uh, internally rotating at the pelvis, okay? So you're gonna grab a rack or grab a wall or the fence if you're out on the field. You're gonna try to keep this thigh on the wall as close as you can. So it's gonna lock your pelvis in tight. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up and over with the hip. Now you're gonna try to flip it at that end range, come back around all the way down and come back through that same pattern. So what you can do is you can picture a small hurdle here. You can even put a small hurdle there to get up and over that. You're gonna work through one set of 10 reps as slow and controlled as you can here. Finding that end range of the joint, working through it. All right, so we got the R, we got the A, we got the M. Now the P for potentiation. How I like to do this is through a med ball series. We're gonna do a simple bottom up med ball series to potentiate your central nervous system before you go take batting practice. So we're gonna grab a six pound med ball, a four pound med ball, or an eight pound med ball. Don't wanna go too crazy heavy with this because we wanna fire that sucker quick. First one is just kneeling, facing the wall. Come one leg out, half kneeling. Good, now you're gonna rotate to that down leg as quick as possible, throw it into the wall for three reps. Good, now other way.
Nice. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna face the side, kneeling to that bladed off leg. We're gonna do three of these as well. Now, working our way up to standing, we're gonna face the wall, one leg out in front, same thing as kneeling, hit three each side. Good. Next, we're going side facing, side bladed. Bladed leg forward, throwing up and over that front side. Now for these last two, we're just gonna go swing side, dominant side, switch hitter, hit both ways. Dansby's a right-handed swinger, so he's just gonna hit his right side here. The next one is a force separation medicine ball drill. As his leg crosses midline of his body, the ball is going to cause a separation. So he's gonna pull up and across, equal and opposite into the wall. Good. Now we're starting to get that hip to shoulder separation. Nice. Lastly, you're just gonna act do the same exact thing if you were to swing. So you can do some sort of toe tap, leg kick, heel lift, whatever it is specific to your particular swing, just hit three reps. Good. All right, that's a wrap on the ramp warm-up routine for hitters. Now we're gonna see how Dansby's exit velocity is directly correlated to that warm-up we just did. Also, it only took about 10 minutes. So take 10 minutes out of your day, do this ramp warm-up, see what happens. Dansby just goes, hey, don't film this, let's get in that quick idea. But we're not gonna cheat the system. All right, so we got, we got three balls, he's got three swings. His last exit velocity pre-ramp warm-up was 90. So let's do it. Three swings. First swing. 95. Clipped it. Clipped it. That's all right. 98. All right, pre ramp. Dansby showed up, just woke up. He was awake for 35 minutes, came in, took three swings, hit 90 miles an hour. Right after our ramp hitters warm up, came in, was able to hit 98. So that's an eight mile an hour gain in exit velocity in like 10 minutes. All right, so if you're a hitter and you're not doing some sort of warm up, I'm not saying you have to follow the ramp exactly, you're giving yourself an incredible disadvantage. No more show and go swings. A lot of things can go wrong. You can get injured, right? And you're not gonna get the most out of that particular hitting session or that BP session. All right, and if you wanna build elite exit velocity like Danny Bananas over here hitting 102 miles an hour off the tee in our last video, right? Go ahead and click the link in the description. I'm selling my elite exit velocity program. It's a 14 week program focusing solely on building that rotational power that transfers into the swing. Also, always remember that I pump out two of these videos per week. So do me a favor and subscribe. I appreciate you. We'll catch you next week. Game rewards a grind, it knows how much you've invested.